okay, Griffiths. How are you? I'm so happy. Like, I've asked Kate many times to come back on the show, and, and I was really happy that you chose her because I know her. So oh, it's yeah. like really cool. Yeah, she's famous. I know. Well, where? So you come from Pennsylvania? Where, um, where are you from? Okay, uh, I, was, I was born in Pennsylvania, in, in Lancaster, in Amish, Amish country, and I lived there for a little while. I was a kid, but I'm not Amish. Were you allowed to have Amish friends? I have a lot of Amish friends. So they yeah. do integrate? They they let them play with kids like you? Yeah. Yeah. They do? <laughs> I, I looked like them. Okay. Is it really true that when like a, they hit a certain age that they're let out for a year and they get to do that? I don't know, because I was like six. Okay, but, so, but you're from there, so did you know about that? No. Did you ever hear about that? Did no. You? I always heard that like boys, when they hit a certain age, they're allowed to go yes, wander that. and yeah. go crazy, and then they have the so option of coming back or not. So they're wild oats. Right, there's a yeah, from wild Quaker oats. We're coming back. <laughs> yeah, because they probably met girls like you who didn't want to go back and be honest because you're more fun. No, I'm not saying that, actually. I mean, you might be, but like, they might be fun, too. But you didn't know about that? No, no, I, I knew about it. Did the girls get to go, too? Or I think so. I thought they did. Now they might. Maybe now. Do they get to wear zippers and buttons? I mean, they. they I always think <laughs> zippers are like so funny because they're not Amish. Like, you're. Yeah, you're not allowed to wear zippers. I know zippers. Is like, like, yeah, you're not. Yeah, that was like the one thing. That, How about Velcro? Velcro zippers? Probably not. I don't. I, don't I doubt know. it. I just think zippers, I always think zippers and that the boys get to go out for a year and then come back. Gosh, that's to keep their shoes on with space. No zippers. No zippers. <laughs> all, right, so, all right, so you came from there and then what, what happened? Oh, I, um, my mom and I moved around a lot. Uh, we, we, I remember we lived in Virginia for a little while and um, in California and we went down to Chile for a little bit. Um, but then I, I spent a good chunk of life in, uh, Connecticut. Oh, really? Yeah. Where in Connecticut? Uh, Colchester. Where's that near? Uh, every, it's right in the, in the center. Of Connecticut. Of Connecticut, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's so, so do you feel that that's the main place that you spend no, most I of don't, your time? No, I don't feel like I have a main place. Right. What about here? Yeah, this could be a main place. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of like, do you know, like when people come to New York, they either know that it's like right for them, or they know it's not. Oh, I don't think it's right for me, but I like it here. Why isn't it right for you? I want it to be right for you. New York likes you, Kate. Oh, okay, all right. Then, uh, sure, it's right for me. How'd you guys meet? She said she knows you for a really long time. Uh, we met on the street. Uh, how long? That most most of our friends were like playing music on the street. You, know, you uh, were playing uh, on the street. No, uh, uh, Kate was sitting on a bench uh, on McDougal Street with a guitar. I do sit on benches. Um, <laughs> and uh, and that's how we met. She's one of the first people I met when I first moved here. Oh really? Which wasn't that long ago. Because and she still talked to me. Wait a minute. So <laughs> when did you move here? Because you just moved here when I met you. I did. Right? No. Uptown, uh, you came, like Kip brought you. Okay. Is that when you moved here? Kip? I, I, well, I, I came to New York like, I don't know, like seven oh, years okay. ago, and then I like kind of bounced back and forth Okay. between Connecticut and Brooklyn and Manhattan. And so Brooklyn. which round did you meet him? I don't know. Um, I think that was the first round. Like seven yeah, years ago? Was the first oh, then that's a long time. <laughs> That's cool. That's great. Wow. And you're still good friends. And do you ever do a song together ever? Well, not for a long time. We used to play together a lot. But like music? We never performed too much, but we practiced a lot. All the time. All the time. It's really fun. That's so really cute. Good. So do you see each other often? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Aw. They're like both blushing. I mean, I don't want to do a wiener here or anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I it's mean. It's going to keep coming up. I, I know. It's going to be like the new phrase like well oh wiener you you know like instead of sexting let's just call it wienering i know i think we should i think it's the funniest thing it's just his name man yeah, she, she, she wiener. i know exactly let's change it right now sexting is now called wienering 
So um, what's going on in your life, gigs? Um, I have a show on, on Flag Day. June 14th? Um, yes. <laughs> I know Flag Day. Um, at the we park. might get flagged for wienering. Yes. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, it's at the Parkside Lounge, which is 317 East Houston. Mm -hmm. um, and the attorney, it's on the north side of, of uh, East Houston Street. And it's going to be like a, a woman's showcase night. It's going to be pretty awesome. Um, Cat is playing. Curly Karen is playing. Still Electric is playing. And I'm playing at um, 10. Cool. That sounds like a great lineup. Still electric, you know. Those are my yeah. Those are my girls. They they play with me in another band too. Yeah, I know. I'm happy to see that they're playing a lot. Allison and Sarah, mm -hmm. yay! So that should be fun. June fourteenth, and it's seven to eleven thirty. Mm -hmm. Parkside Lounge. Yeah. So, um, what else do you have on your little list here? Did you want to say um, some stuff? Well, I uh, I just put out a CD, an album. And it's on iTunes. Nice. It has a barcode. Nice. Which is pretty exciting for me. Yeah. Um, because I always, I always made like you know copy machine albums. Yeah. Like, like burn them yourself. Like. And you didn't know. Alan Merrill um have something to do with this? Like he, he said he um, didn't he MC on your album. Yeah. Or? Yeah. yeah he, he told did. me that. It's it's a live show. Um, and yeah, I brought him to the show and he. He introduced me. And nice. Stuff. We love yeah. Alan Merrill. Um, yeah. That's cool. So um, how do people find it? Like, they just um, go to iTunes and there yeah, it is? Yeah, you no. look up, well, my name is Cake, K-E-Y-K-E. -E, right. Not to be confused with Stephen King. Um, now, and it's, that, it's just Cake Live in NYC. And if they look up K-E-Y-K-E -E on iTunes, you'll come up. Yeah. Yeah. And they can find your barcode. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's just people to find on the internet. She's because, taken over the internet. Yeah. Well, she has that internet song, so. That's true, true. True that. Which is a great song. And you are adorable. Who are your inspirations, Kate? Who are my inspirations? Yeah. I don't. Um, what songwriters do you listen to? I mean, I think, I think La Tigra was, like, my biggest inspiration. Um... But I don't. I don't know if I have. Okay. That's like I want to be like them. I don't really no, know. I don't mean it like that. Have... But I mean like when you hear something, you're like, oh wow. Yeah. Um. Is that the same as who do I listen to? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um. Who do you really like listening to? I like listening to. I just got back into Jan Tiersen, if I can pronounce it right. It's like um, he did a lot of the the music for Amelie. Okay. It's not. It's not cool. It's not. It's not like what I do, but it's really good. Well, that was really good. A lot of people like that. Just, yeah. You know, um, I kind of forgot about him, and then I didn't anymore. Um, I like. Uh, I like unreported crimes. They're local. They're really good. And nice. um, Gabe and Cullinan. Cool. So we're gonna take a little break and then set you up to play a song. Okay. And then hear a skeleton from your closet, which I know there are skeletons uh, that lurk in there. I don't know if you have any new ones, but... Amish skeleton. Oh, well, I think you were kind of <laughs> little then, unless you do. But we'll be right back to find out. Yeah. 